Friends Wizards, which is M Muggles. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. Today, we're going to be taking a look at my potion shelf. That's right. I'm going to be taking you through every potion in my collection. It's a shelf that I feel that Professor Severus Snape himself would be proud of. So if you want to know what's on my potion shelf, then keep on watching. But let's go. Okay, guys, I think I'm going to start with one of my favorite potions on my potion shelf which is Veritaserum. Now this is a truth-telling serum and I like this one because it's nice and simple. It's nice and minimalistic and three drops is enough. So yeah, it's a nice simple one which is clear and yeah, just really like it. It's one of my smaller potions. Next up, I'm gonna show you guys this. Now this potion is Amortentia, aka the love potion. Now this one in particular I did make myself. There is a DIY on my channel, but I really like this one. I love the label, I love all the accessories that I added, and I also really liked all of the glitter inside. So this is glitter paint, which gave it that really nice kind of magical feeling, but I also really like that it's in a heart-shaped bottle. Just a really pretty one. It's one of the more colorful, vibrant potions on the shelf. Now, not only do I have potions on my potion shelf, I also have ingredients. Oh, this one's trying to run away. So this is lavender. And if you look very carefully on the label at the front, it says picked at Beaubatons on the 12th of September, 1994. So this obviously represents Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. And there is actual real lavender in this vial. And I just really liked it. It's made out of glass and there is a cork stopper on there as well. So yeah, it's quite a, quite a little nifty one that. Now this one, is very, very sparkly. It's one of the more visually pleasing ones for me just because that glitter is just like, oh, look at her shine. It literally looks like it's come from a unicorn. So I really like the label on this one. It just says, I think it's from Toil and Trouble, finest quality unicorn blood. And it's got some more information on there, but everyone needs a little bit of unicorn blood in their collection. But oh, the glitter, oh, she's shiny. Now, I promise that I haven't been raiding Severus Snape's ingredient slash potions cupboard and his secret store. But this is a little vial of powdered horn of bicorn. Now, if your potions knowledge isn't up to scratch, this is one of the ingredients that you will need to make a polyjuice potion. So yes, here we have it. It's in a very simple kind of brown looking bottle, but there is actually powder in there as well. So yeah, another nice little ingredient. Well, if you're not feeling lucky, maybe today could be your day. So this is a bottle of Felix Felicis. Now, one little detail that I thoroughly enjoy about this potion bottle. On the front there, you can see that it says brewed in September 1996. So this is from Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. Of course, Professor Slughorn gave this away when all of the students were kind of battling to make the best draft of living death potion. But yeah, this one as well is also glittery. It's, it looks very lucky, very magical. It's just very pretty. This is actually another one of my favorites. Next up, we have another potion ingredient. This is called Aconite. And oh, the label is very detailed. You'll see this really pretty, kind of blue flower on there and then lots of words. So Aconite is a blue flower that is used to make Wolfsbane Potion, which is obviously relevant to werewolves. So it's actually really pretty. All of the little petals in there, I believe this is also lavender inside this little bottle, but it does look like a legit ingredients bottle. It looks very authentic and it's just very, very pretty. Speaking of Wolfsbane Potion, we have a bottle of it right here. So this says, eases the symptoms of lycanthropy. Drink once per day leading up to the full moon. And then as you can see, there is a tiny little wolf there. I actually really like this bottle. I like that there's a wax kind of lid to it and there's a little handle on there as well. The only thing that I'm not so sure about is 
how vibrantly blue it is. <laughs> I think I would like it a little bit more muted. But either way, that is my very own Wolfsbane Bane potion. So let's put it back. Next up is another DIY potion. So this one in particular is Gillyweed. And again, I have a video on how I made this. I really like the label on this that I created. I think what I really like about it is that I picked some little pebbles, which you can see in the bottom right there, from my garden, because I thought if you're gonna be collecting something like this, Gillyweed in the Wizarding World, then you're probably gonna end up scooping some little bits and bobs and debris from the bottom of wherever it came from, like a river and that kind of thing. So what I used to fill this was lichen, so it definitely looks very authentic and real, even though gillyweed is meant to look gray, gray slash green and like rat's tails, but I really like the way this looks on my shelf. So yes, that is gillyweed. We have a few more gillyweed products, which I'll show you later on. Now, this next potion is very, very special. Now, this one in particular has come from two places. The potion itself, which is a liquid look, it's got glitter in there, it's very pretty. The bottle itself is a lot more authentic to the films. This one is from a Geek Gear box. Now, the stand is actually from a Litjoy crate and it did come with its own Felix Felices, but I preferred the shape of this vial. So yes, those live on my shelf. I think this one's really cool, just because it's got its own little stand. It just looks very magical, quite fun to look at. So yeah, that is my vial of liquid luck. Next up is another DIY that I made. This is my very own jar of flu powder. This one is one of the bigger kind of things on the potion shelf. And I love how aged the, the label looks. And I love the little bead details, which you can see here. But also not only that, I also love the little scoop because you would need a little scoop for flu powder. I did make this look a similar green to the flu powder itself. So there we have it. That's my flu powder. I feel as though I should keep this next to my log burner or a fire or a fireplace. But yeah, love flu powder. This is one of my earlier things that I had on my shelf. Speaking of flu powder, I have this small little sack <laughs> of flu powder. So this is a Hessian bag and Believe it or not, this is actually filled with flu powder. I will kind of show you if I can. Can you see that there's green powder in there? Yeah, so it is full to the top and it's just another little flu powder. This is printed on text, but I just love how magical this feels. It's not in a jar. It's a little bit different to put on a shelf like this. This came in a subscription box. I cannot remember which one. But I just like the look of it. Now to show you a few things that are hidden out of sight behind the advanced potion making book. So this is a jar of eagle owl feathers. This came in a subscription box. They are real feathers, but I believe that no owls were harmed in the making of this. I assume that they're just found feathers. So yeah, it says number 28. I believe this may have come out of an old Gobstone Alley box potentially. But yeah, I do like it. It's another kind of ingredient bottle. It's a nice size as well but you can see all of those feathers inside pretty cool if you ask me let's move on apparently i am a collector of wolfsbane potion so this is another one this one in particular is by geek gear they like to fill a lot of their potion bottles with glitter they do give that little bit of extra magic but i personally prefer my potions to look more authentic whether it's with liquids resin or actual ingredient items either way it's quite a nice looking bottle i love the twine i think twine added on these bottles just makes it I don't know, makes it feel a little bit more Hogwartsy. Now on this bottle, if I just turn it around a little bit, you can see this tiny little wolf charm, which I think is actually really sweet. So yes, I'm gonna put that with the rest of my wolf's main potions. Next up is a potion ingredient that you may have not seen before. This one I got in a random box, which I don't believe I unboxed on my channel. Um, but this one, the, the insides of this potion looks like boba, you know, those bubble tea, little squishy things. It looks like those, but these are Ashwinder eggs. It says, do not open unnecessarily 
Danger of Arson. So there we have it. There's also a tiny little scroll attached, which I haven't been brave enough to take off yet and have a little read, but there you go. You can see all of the eggs. They look kind of weird, but they do look like a really awesome thing to have in an ingredients jar. Next up is another Gillyweed related potion item. So this is actually a candle. This came from a Litjoy crate and when I first opened this, oh, it smelt heavenly. It does still smell nice, but I think it's kind of wearing off a little bit now. So if you open this one and take the stopper off, there you go, you can actually see that it is a candle and it's got these kind of little bits of green in, which is meant to look like gillyweed. But yes, this is one of my favourite things on the shelf just because it smells so good and it's actually quite useful and it's in a square jar and it's very very green. <laughs> now it does look like I'm quite the gillyweed hoarder because I have yet again another vial of gillyweed. Now this one in particular was made by the Wizarding Trunk box formerly known as the Asker box. This one's really awesome because if you look inside the ingredients in there that is the gillyweed looks a lot more authentic as in the books it is described as long and rat tail like. So there we have it, another gillyweed. You can never have enough for all of your kind of swimming needs. But yeah, love a bit of gillyweed. Next up is another interesting little potion. Now this one is a small vial of Skelly Grow. Madame Pomfrey would be proud. So this one's really cute and it says bona fide results every time. A remedy for bone growth. But yeah, it's really cool. This one also has a really neat looking charm right there, which looks like a skeleton. So it's kind of showing you what the potion does. Yoink. Moving on, we have this interesting looking bottle. So on the front there, you can see that it says Fluxweed. This is yet again, another ingredient for Polyjuice Potion. And a fun and very random fact is that Fluxweed, it is a magical plant, but it's also a member of the mustard family known for its healing properties. So that's a little bit random. And again, if you look inside of here, you can see some more of that green lichen stuff that I mentioned not so long ago. But yes, on the front of here, it says picked at the full moon in 1993. So that was from Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Next up, we have this curious looking ingredient. So I'm not 100% sure what this is. It came in a box and I think it says powdered spine of lionfish. And it's an ingredient from Slug and Jiggers on Diagon Alley. But I just really liked it. In fact, there is powder in there and it's also quite glittery. It sparkles, but it's just a nice looking one. It looks kind of aged and authentic if you like. Just really like it. I like the label as well. Hey, you know what I was saying about gillyweed? I've got another one. That's right. This one is super cute. In fact, this one was made by one of you guys, my Magical Online family. And I just loved how sweet it was and how very thoughtful it was as well. So there's a handmade label on the front that says Gillyweed. And then if you turn it around, there is a little faux piece of Gillyweed in there. I just really like it. I love how small it is. It's so, so cute. Sticking with the small vials, this is a very special little vial indeed. Now, I've had this for a few years and it was gifted to me by the Warner Brothers Studio Tour in London. And as you can see on that label, this is a little vial of film making snow as seen at the Warner Brothers Studio Tour in London. So yes, during the filming of Harry Potter, they used lots of different types of snow when they were doing their snowy scenes. And this vial contains some of the fake snow that was used. And I just think that's really awesome. It's a very special thing to have on my shelf. And I can open it and I can feel the snow if I like, but I don't want to open it because I don't want to lose any of the contents. <laughs> Next up is another potion by Geek Gear and it has black glitter in it. It's very sparkly this may be a clue of what this is. That's right. This is the draft of living death. Now I was having a little think. I feel as though Sleeping Beauty may have taken this because if you read the label it says causes the drinker to sleep which can last indefinitely. So you definitely don't want to be drinking this on any nights out or anything. Keep it away from your mouth. 
Next up, now this isn't a potion. This is actually something that came in a PR kit a very long time ago for the big friendly giant. And I thought how sweet it was. It's this little jar that says dream jar on it. And when you press the top, it lights up. Oh my goodness, it's so, so sweet. And it just looks really fun on the shelf. It's an interesting shape. And I like dreams. It, it just fit on the shelf very nicely. So yeah, that's my little dream jar. It's where I keep all of my dreams. Next is this curious little bottle. So this isn't actually relevant to the wizarding world. It's something that I picked up from this really sweet little boutique shop and it was advertised as fairy dust. In the bottom there is actually a lot of kind of glittery shiny metal. It looks very very magical. Um, and there's also a little scroll in there, which I assume is filled with wishes. But I just really liked it and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna grab that and stick it on my potion shelf and it's lived there ever since. But yeah, so that's another little addition. Next up is this rather elegant bottle of Draft of Living Death. Now, this is by Geek Gear. I'm unsure why they've made it red because Draft of Living Death is meant to be black, but I do really appreciate how kind of decorative the bottle is and it pleased me, so it ended up on the shelf. Next up we have this vial of dragon's blood and it is actually liquid, this one, which is a little bit uh, nerve-wracking. So yes, we've got a little vial of dragon's blood. I believe this came from a gobstone alley box not so long ago. It kind of looks like one of those little whiskey bottles, not gonna lie. Either way, it's pretty cool to have some dragon's blood on my shelf. It's another ingredient. Boink. Next up, we have this very, very glittery bottle. It's a very ornate bottle, actually. Now, this one was sent to me by a lovely Magical Online family member. She is actually the owner of a fantastic eyeshadow and makeup brand. I will leave her link down below. But with some of her pigments, she actually put it into a potion bottle for me because she knows that I love Harry Potter. It was so thoughtful. It was really sweet. And if you look on the bottom of this one, it says mermaid scales, but oh, she's so shiny. Look at how she shines. So yes, that's a very thoughtful one. And I had to put it onto my potion shelf. Now, one of my favorite items that I've been able to create for my Curation of Magical Curiosities box is this lovely memory vial. I've always wanted one of these, so it was so cool to be able to make one. So I haven't actually put a memory on my label just yet, but here we have it. I picked this label, there was a choice of three, and this vial is actually made of glass, so it has this little vial stopper there. But yeah, I, I've, always, I've just always found memory vials really elegant. I love the cabinet in Dumbledore's office. It's so cool. I could spend hours kind of reading all the labels and looking at them. Mm, yes, I'm a bit of a memory vial fangirl, if you wish. Next up is this beautiful bottle of Mermaid Tears, that's right. This one was actually made, again, by a lovely and very kind Magical Online family member. So yes, this is a beautiful bottle. It's just stunning, to be fair. I love the kind of, kind of, it's meant to be wax, but it's actually been done with a glue gun, I think, and then painted in, but it looks very kind of realistic. It looks really, really nice. And check out this stopper, it's magnificent. And then it's got those really fun kind of, ball, boba, tea, bubbly type thingies. I'm not sure what they're called, but aren't they fantastic? Um, so there we have it. And then she's done a little handmade, handwritten label, which I just really like. It's one of the most magical looking ones on my shelf, to be fair. And it's just very special because someone made it for me. How thoughtful. Next up, not so much a potion, more of a flask. This is Mad Eye Moody's flask and it is a replica by Noble Collection and it does in fact open so that you can drink your Polyjuice potion. Now, am I gonna put liquid in this? Probably not, but it just looked very cool and it had to go in the potion shelf because that's what is inside this flask in the film. Very, very cool. Quite ugly looking really, isn't it? It looks, to be fair, the actual brown bit looks like it could be Gucci, but. <laughs> Yeah, so that's a Mad Eye Moody's flask that lives in the corner. I just love that the mechanism actually works. Pretty cool. Moving on to this beautiful thing. Now, this is fairly new to my collection. This is actually from a shop called Home Sense. It's actually just a candle that I picked up at Halloween. 
but it had a beautiful potion label. So it's poison apple scented and I just thought it was really cool. So the scent of this candle is apparently golden red apple. And then something that I can't read, sweet peas. Fresh, oh God, how do I say this? Something, that funny flower. Ceranthium? No, can't, can't do words, not gonna try read it. But yes, it had a lovely potion label on it and it was in this beautiful kind of brown, oh, price tag still on it, $4.99 if you want one of these. <laughs> but yeah, so that's just, it's just a candle that I thought fit with the theme of the shelf. I enjoy it. It also smells very lovely. Look how big that stopper is. Oh, okay, let's put her back. Next up, we have an array of beautiful vintage potion bottles. These fill me with so much joy. I got these from a vintage and antique shop quite locally to where I live and I just thought they were so pretty. They're actually proper bottles that were used in the past. This one has a stopper in it which is quite pretty. That one, maybe that was used for like perfume or something, I'm not sure. But yeah, I just, I love them. I actually bought them so that I could do potion DIYs which I still may do in the future but for now they're just vintage bottles that like to live on my potion shelf. Moving on to some of the bigger items, I have here a message in a bottle. I bought this a long time ago from just a home decor store, but I was just like, you know what, that's perfect. I have not written anything on the inside, but I feel as though I should, maybe like a little secret message or something like that. So that's the message in a bottle. Next up, we have got one of my favorite things that lives on the potion shelf, and it is Skelligro. Here it is, the bottle of Skelligro. Now this one in particular is a replica. This is an official piece of merchandise which you can buy. Now what's really cool about this replica is it actually has a practical use. These are sold as Skelligro water bottles so you can drink out of them which would look kind of pretty cool if you're out and about in public on like public transport or something just drink it neck in like Skelligro. <laughs> but yeah this is a really beautiful thing. I did wait a very, very long time to get my hands on this because I pre-ordered it from a store that did not send it to me. But I got one in the end. I got it from WizCon and here it is. So yeah, it's one of my favorite things. I think they look really awesome. I've always wanted a replica of them and I've now got one. So yeah, that's pretty much everything on the potion shelf. There's like the little cauldron replica, but you would have seen those before. And then there's another skeleton bottle, which is kind of similar to this, but other than that, you've seen pretty much every single thing on my potion shelf. And there we have it. Those are all of my potions on my potion shelf. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a magical thumbs up. And I guess I will see you in my next video. Bye.